Hey, it's Doug Miller here at uh, Fleetwood RV uh, with Rich Krause, the manager of our paint facility. And uh, something we want to touch on today was the process. So what we're looking at right now is our prep process. In this case, we've sanded the coach, we've prepped the substrate for paint application, and now we're applying protective coverings to all the areas that we want to remain free of paint. Windshields, windows, wheels, tires, things like that. We don't want any paint on that stuff, no overspray. Those are all getting sealed off right here in, yep. in this station. Very good, that's awesome. Every time that uh, I give a plant tour, I always get the question when we get to this stage, what's all the yellow stuff? So what you're looking at here, Doug, is our vinyl masking. Um, and in the areas that it's actually applied, this is after our first base has already been applied. So the areas in which you see this yellow vinyl masking, that creates our color pins for the entire graphic scheme going forward. Just to clarify for me, the base goes on. After the coach has been prepped, it goes through prep and seal booth, it goes through first base booth. Then we lay the graphic on there to ensure that the color you're going to see underneath the yellow stays on the coach forever. How many stages of yellow stuff will this go through? At this point, we've already gone through eight of our cells. And so it will go through another four booths and four additional prep cells so that all of these areas can be prepped accordingly. When it comes down to it, all the brands that we have all have different graphics on them. It really is an art when those graphics are being applied, the paint's being applied from the very first time it comes in to the time it hits the clear booth. So one thing that I've kind of come to learn is we can't have a monster paint facility without functioning booths. What we're in right now is a brand new booth. Do the old ones just get bad? What happens? This building's almost 20 years old, and as time progresses, things get bigger. So our coaches are larger. We had to get a little bit of a bigger booth to be able to get to the tops of the coaches and all the way around the coaches more efficiently than we have in the past. What are some of the different booths that we have here in this facility? All of our booths except one are downdraft. Um, that way we have good air movement coming over the coach, down the coach, through the paint application process as opposed to sweeping across and possibly contaminating a finish. Okay. We do have one side draft booth, which is one of our specialty booths where we do specialty painting. And with that air movement and using an air bake coating, it helps us with our efficiencies through the process. Those things are all engineered, designed in by working with uh, some of our paint suppliers, be it uh, Axo Nobel, uh, through Raleigh Williams, guys like that with the uh, believe me, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the Sickens brand paint, right? Absolutely. That's used uh, extensively in a lot of automobile industry and things like that. Yes, and uh, you know, Sickens is, is one of the main names in the RV industry and they allow us to have such an efficient process. So where are we at here? So in this case, we've gone through three base coats so far. We have a fourth base coat to apply and then we'll move on to the clear coat process. What would I expect if some of this layering was pulled off? So you would see three more colors underneath it. As we're applying this and we are masking all of these areas, this sets the whole scheme. So once we turn it, once we remove all of these, you're gonna have three beautiful colors. Every coach that we do a full body paint job on, we do four specific colors, uh, including the clear on, on top of everything else. Let's go see something finished. Hey, we get to see a coach that is, uh, I'm guessing roughly 95% finished. Uh, so the colors are all on, the masking for the most part is all off. We got this gorgeous clear coat on the outside. I'm going to lean on Rich a little bit here just to kind of give us an explanation of what is left to finish on the coach before it can exit the building, get to the dealership lot, and eventually get in your driveway. From this point forward is where we put all the fun stuff on. We have hardware, we have awnings, all of those things that people enjoy using outside of the coach yeah. that complements the exterior paint job. What a great looking coach, what a great process, tons of hours and engineering goes into a process like this which we've talked about. Thank you very much yep. uh, for spending some time with us here and explain them what happens in, in your house. If you'd like to find out more uh, from behind the scenes here at Fleetwood, you can always uh, find us on Facebook and or uh, join our YouTube channel. Thank you.